Hello! Today we're asked to solve four basic equations and round the answers to four decimal places. The first two are exponential equations. That means that the variable is an exponent. So here x is an exponent, here x is an exponent. And here these two are logarithmic equations. And we're asked to solve these and round our answers to four decimal places. So we're going to do that and I want to show you the steps. Now the first thing to remember is this. You cannot solve an exponential equation by any other method than guess and check. The only way to do this is to convert this equation into a logarithm. And that makes a, a very, very easy to do, very simple to do. If you look at this, you have got b to the x equals y. And if you have b to the x equals y, then log b of y equals x. This is your conversion formula. So b to the x equals y, then log b of y equals x. Okay, so this seems pretty simple and we can do this. So b is 5, so I write log 5, y is 0.7, so log 5 of 0.7 equals, and then of course x was x minus 1, so that equals x minus 1. So I have log 5.7 equals x minus 1. Well, what is log 5 of 0.7? It is just a number. You have to know how to do it. The problem is you don't have a log 5 key on your calculator. So you have to use a change of base. And the change of base for log 5 of 0.7 would be the log, log base 10 of 0.7, divided by log base 10 of 5 and that equals x minus 1. And if you type this into your calculator, log of 0.7 divided by log of 5, you're going to get negative 0.22161 equals x minus 1. Now, Solve this for x, you add 1 to both sides, what do you get? You get x equals 0.7784. And then you could take your calculator, take this answer, and plug it in right here, 0 0.7784 minus 1, then 5 raised to that power, and you'll get approximately 0.7. Okay? Second equation, same thing, we've got an exponential equation, we've got to convert this to a logarithm, and I'll do that right here. Um, but before we do that, we've got to get rid of this pesky 4. Well, how do we do that? Well, we divide by it. So I get 3 to the x power equals 5 fourths. Okay, so 3 to the x power equals 5 fourths. Now we have an equation in the form of b to the x equals y. And if I convert this to a logarithm, I'm going to get log 3 of 5 fourths equals x. Well, that's a pretty simple equation as long as I can find this. The problem is I don't have a log 3 key. So how do I find log 3 if I don't have a log 3 key? I use my change of base formula. Log 3 of 5 fourths is going to equal log of 5 fourths divided by log of 3. Okay? And if I type that in my calculator, log of 5 fourths divided by log of 3, I get 0 0.2031. And since x equals this, what do you get? You get x equals 0 0.2031 to four decimal places. And you could take this answer, 0 0.2031, and you could plug it in. 4 times 3 to the 0 0.2031, and you should get 5. Okay, third question. This time we don't have an exponential, we have a logarithm. <clears throat> Uh, seems pretty cut and dry. So we want to solve for x. 
And um, the first thing I want to do is I want to isolate the logarithm. Well, the easiest way to isolate this logarithm would be divide both sides by 3. So if I do that, I'm going to get log 8 of x equals negative 2 thirds. Okay, so I have log 8 of x equals a number. And I want to keep x and I want to get rid of this logarithm. Well, the way to get rid of anything is to do the inverse operation. So to get rid of a logarithm, I rewrite it as an exponential function. Or um, basically take what we call the anti-log, which is simply to make all of this a power of 8. So we say 8 raised to that power. And if I do that over here, guess what I have to do over here? 8 raised to that power. All right, what happens here? These two go away, and I'm left with x equals 8 raised to the negative 2 thirds power. Well, then I ask myself, what is 8 to the negative 2 thirds power? Well, it's 8 squared which is 64, and take the cube root, which is 4, and then because it's negative, we flip it. So what do we end up with? 1 fourth, or 0.25, if you want a decimal. 1 fourth or 0.25. Last question here, 2 log 4x minus 3 equals 4. Very similar. The first thing we need to do is isolate the log. How do we do that? We divide by 2. So if I divide by 2, I end up with log 4 of x minus 3 equals 2. Once you have a log isolated, you can always get rid of it by taking the anti-log. The anti-log of log 4 is to make it the exponent of 4. And if I make this side of the equation the exponent of 4, then I have to make this side the exponent of 4. So we have 4 to the second power, or 4 squared. What happens here? The log and the anti-log cancel, and I'm left with x minus 3 equals 4 squared. What is 4 squared? 16. Now what? Solve for x. Add 3 to both sides. You get x equals 19. And again, what can you do with your answer? You can take this answer, 19, plug it in here, 19 minus 3 is 16, take the log 4 of 16, multiply that by 2, and you should get 4. You can check these answers. If you have any questions, please come see me.